Hey, hey. Momo can update before we got on the mundane mat. She's still doing it. Apparently, this is not a one-time thing. She's going to be doing this. Like, this is her job now. Since she can't do cosplay, Comic-Con things anymore, because she's been banned from all of them for being a sexual assaulter, she has to do this. The crush and stuff is, as someone who, like, came for being... First of all, the audio title, sync is off. Not by a tiny little bit world. where it's unnoticeable. And no, it's off by a lot. Understanding you can't control everything. And that... That Her talking about depression. Hmm. Why does it sound familiar? Like, oh, right. DSP really likes to talk about that as his excuse. Like, things do happen. And, then again, know, she blamed ADD for why she sexually assaults women. That, um, you know, I hate the, the and mind you, it's like, oh, other people have it worse. That's a lot of clothes to be wearing on a campsite. So, like, the whole point of a campsite is that you take you your clothes are, off. Which, again, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with taking your clothes off for money. If people want to throw you money, let them. Like seriously, people want to give you money to take your clothes off? More power to you. Just like the people who sell pictures of their feet or use pants. Like, no, wait, someone's willing to pay for that? Let them. More power to you. God damn. It's just, like, this is her life now. This is her life. Her life is now all about being a cam girl but she's a cam girl who doesn't show nudity what <sighs> but enough about her let's see do I have this loaded up yet oh I do hey look at that first we're gonna start off with this little clip I like this one I am, sorry. That. I am sorry that I flagged them no, no, no. I am, no. For doing what you did, uh, I am sorry fine, I am a fine, fine. little bitch and flagged your videos. I'm sorry I'm a sore bitch. <laughs> that, there we go. Put it no. on the soundboard. Because Mundane Matt has been busted. For, well, apparently he got really hot about a year and a half, two years ago. Something about the Gamergate thing of, oh, people are censoring me. Censoring on the internet is bad. Do not censor on the internet. Oops. Yeah, he got caught. He flagged videos, channels, attacked people, just went after everyone that commented on him. Like, he posted a video of him doing something wrong on Tumblr, like the polar bear saying the N-word over and over again, stuff like that. Just being horrible racist and all that. People were like, hey, that's kind of bad. He'd flag their channels, flag their videos, <laughs> attacked everybody. Oh, I left my ass off. I can't get over how history repeats itself. Seriously, an impersonal blog post or tweet longer after being outed as such a du duplicitous scumbag is a final nail in the coffin. 299 replies, not exactly saying, you're forgiven. A lot of us are saying, bullshit. Like, this is not... Just went over this with, uh... Momokin in the comments on the other video about how... People don't say, I'm sorry, I'm a piece of shit, I'm a horrible human being... I should have never done that. What I did was wrong. I need to get better. I need to be better. I'm going to take time off. I'm going to go with family. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to find something to find a way to make myself better because I am a piece of shit. I should have never said that. I should have never done that. I am sorry. No, instead they go, Wah, I got caught. I'm sorry, I got caught. Wah, I'm sorry, the public found out about this. Wah! I'm sorry people are upset about all the stupid shit I've done. Mm, well. Uh, let's see. Let's move you over. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, mundane man. Fuck you. I want to give, uh, begin by saying that I appreciate your patience with my silence these past few days. Because he went completely silent after it came out that he's the one who just flagged everybody. Got videos, channels, live streams taken down. I wanted to make take some time to reflect on the situation before making a public statement. I mean, he took time to try to figure out how to apologize the best without looking like a complete total bitch, but he is. First things first, I'd like to apologize for the videos I reported for bullying and harassment. It was wrong of me to do. I made a human error and I deeply regret my actions. No, he doesn't. There is no excuse for reporting critical videos. YouTube is a space that is for all sorts of expressions and being critical of someone you disagree with. 
is probably the most important form of expression the platform allows. I do believe in free speech and free expression. My actions were absolutely antithetical to my core principles. I am remorseful for that decision. Another person who only believes in freedom of speech when you're saying what he wants you to say. We see this all the time. Like for me, it's a struggle. Like, God, those Westboro Baptist assholes are complete assholes. But they have the right to say what they say, even if they are assholes. This guy, nope. You only have freedom of speech if you say what I want you to say. If you say something I don't like, I'm taking it down. Which he did. A lot of people. I would like to also address the accusations that I have been leading a mass flagging campaign against all critical commentary on me. This is simply false. You're right, it wasn't a mass flagging campaign, it was you doing it. Many of you have been asking if I plan to quit YouTube, and I do not. Although he's lost a fuck ton of subscribers. I think his last count was like he's lost over 7,000 subscribers in about less than a week. So over 1,000 a day. I love what I do, and I love that I get to do it every day. My mistakes are mine to own. And going forward, all I can do is work very hard to be a better person, which is exactly what I'm doing. No, you're not. I understand that my decision to report those videos for harassment and bullying has given many a reason to lose their trust in me. All I can do is work hard to regain that trust. It will be a long road, but one that I am prepared to travel. No, you're not. You're going to go, all right, it's been a couple weeks now. Things have blown over. I'll go back to reporting videos. You know what? Even if he never reports another video again, all it takes is one person to do it, he's fucked. Again. The other thing is, he has more than one channel. Cause, like, this all came from a pocket. I'll have the link down below to the podcast. Where this all came out. Like, they know he has more than one channel. The whole reason they're doing the podcast on that channel at the time is because the original one got taken down by him. But it's like, oh, well, it's not in the stream report. So, yeah, but... He has multiple channels, so he could have just reported it from a different channel. Or it may have taken no time for the report to show up on the screen that they screenshotted. Also, he took a long time. Like Everyone was like, it takes 10 seconds. Watch. Oh, no, 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 no. Done. Oh, actually, um, what did they say how to do it? I think it's YouTube dot com slash report history wow i have a video oh because the guy was calling for death threats uh let's see print screen thankfully i had paint open so da -da -da, crop thanks for reporting oops <laughs> old pictures saved up but yeah thanks for reporting yeah the guy was doing death threats to youtubers politicians just Oh my god, this is being allowed to happen. These people are allowed to happen. They should be shot. Why aren't they? Oh, why isn't anyone taking up their arms and shooting these fuckers? They're going to school to shoot little kids, but no one's going to shoot. No, and then he starts taking off YouTubers and politicians. So that's why I reported him. Matt's list was hundreds of pages, hundreds of videos, hundreds of channels. Just went on forever. And that's for one channel. Obviously, he has all the channels, so obviously he's reporting from those channels as well. Taking down even more videos and channels and people. But as you saw, it took, alright, maybe longer than 10 seconds, but not even half a minute. Not even half a minute. I could show. Here's my report history. And also, I only have one channel, so, eh. God, fucking mundane, Matt. You can't be freedom of speech, freedom of speech, but then ban everything. It's the, ex it's the exact opposite of what you claim to believe in. My core belief of freedom of speech. And then you've stifled speech every single chance you got. <sighs> I didn't want to do this video at first because I didn't know much about him. But as I started watching other videos, as I started reading up different reports about him, I'm like, holy shit, this guy's a huge piece of shit. Hypocrisy pisses me off more than just about anything. It's one thing to have beliefs. It's another to be hypocritical about your beliefs. Like seriously. It's just so fucked up to be like, this is my belief. Well, does that belief extend to this? No, 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 no. Then that's not your belief. If you don't believe in freedom of speech for all, then shut the fuck up. If you're like, oh, I'm a good moral Christian, then how do you support this person? Well, that's what I thought. 
You're not pro-life. Oh my god, there's so many examples of pro-life people not being pro-life. Like, every single one of them is also pro-death penalty. I thought you were pro-life. Well, no, I'm only, I only care about fetuses. Oh, that child's born has a medical issue. Your parents' insurance can't cover it. Well, guess the baby dies. Fuck you. Then again, fucking SJW, 30 Way Feminists. Maybe not as bad, but they're fucking monsters too. We want freedom of speech. Go on, punch people who disagree with you. We want freedom of speech. Uh, all the times that shoe on head, Blair White, and others have been flagged by the SJWs. Fuck you guys. We believe in a woman's right to choose who she has sex with. Then they bully porn stars to death. That's not a joke. That is not a joke. They bullied August Ames and others to death. Which is at least manslaughter. If you cyber bully someone until they kill themselves, that's at least manslaughter. But for SJW, third wave feminists, it, well, that, that doesn't apply to us. Well, fuck you too. I'm sure you're noticing a lot of jump cuts here. Uh, for some reason, like, parts of the video would freeze. The audio didn't record, stuff like so. Yeah, this is like my fourth attempt trying to get this. I'm chopping up the parts that worked all together. So hopefully this part works too. Anyway, so, what do you guys think about Mumukin? Is this rock bottom for her? Is, she, is this really the right career choice for her? I guess she can't go to the Comic Cons anymore because she sexually assaults women whenever she gets close to them. But is really being a cam girl, like, is that really her only career choice? I get her entire life is based off of her looks. But seriously, like, this is where you're going with your life? And mind you, she doesn't even take her clothes off. And... Why didn't she just do this on YouTube or on Twitch? Like, if you're not if you're not gonna get naked, then why are you on a cam site? Why aren't you on YouTube or Twitch? Is it so when you're wearing a micro bikini, if your nipple slips out, you don't get in trouble? Which if that happens, she probably make a lot more money. Which I don't was like. All right, so you know that the only reason these people come to you is because they want your body, but then you don't take your clothes. Like, she met that thirty five hundred coin goal in like an hour. She sets up a 50,000 coin goal, like, all right, guys, we have four hours to get 50,000 coins. If we reach that, I'll take my bra off and show you my boobies. You're going to tell me her fans aren't going to throw that kind of money at her? They are. And again, there's nothing wrong with that kind of lifestyle. That's how you want to make money. If that's what you want to spend your money on. As long as everything is between consenting adults, okay. It's just the fact that she's such a piece of shit. That the whole, like, it's not like... All right, well, I'm a college girl. I need to make some extra cash. I'll do this. No, it's, hmm, I'm banned from my old job of going to Comic Cons because I sexually assault women. Hmm, what do I do now? It's not like she chose, it's not like, hmm, what do I want to do? I want to do this. No, it's, fuck, I got fired from my old job. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, God, I need to do something where I won't be accused of sexually assaulting other women. I know, I'll do this. Also, she needs to work on her lighting. She needs to work on her audio sync. She has sh terrible lighting. And then with Mundane Matt. Do you really think he can bounce back to this? Do you really think this is something he can come back from? He's bleeding subs like crazy. He's already lost over 7,000 in less than a week. Can he really come back? Or is he done? Will he just continue to lose and lose and lose until finally he just gives up? I don't think he'll give up. He'll be more like DSP of like struggling... Even if only he has a few pay pigs left to give him money, I don't think he's going to give up like that. So, what do you guys think? Again, do you think this is rock bottom for Momokin? Do you think this is a smart career choice for her? And do you really think Monday Matt's going to come back? I don't know if he'll ever come back to what he was before, but I don't think he's going to go away yet. So, as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.